Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to use the new Terraform test framework, which is now generally available in Terraform 1.6. Here I have a module for a static website in Azure. It's a pretty simple module, but since I'm going to make this available to other people on my team, I want to make sure it works the way I expect, not only now, but also when I make changes in the future. So I want to add some tests. And I'll start by creating a file that ends in .tftest.hcl. And to keep things organized, I'll create it underneath a tests folder here in my module path. First, I need some variable values and provider configuration for my tests to use. And then I'll start with a simple unit test that's going to run a plan command, along with a simple assertion to make sure that one of the properties of the storage account has the value I expect it to. Here in my variables file, you can see that my module has some input validations. So I want to make sure those are working the way I expect too. I'll come back to my tests here and set up a second test run. For this run, I'm going to override those top level variables with variables customized just for this run. And I'm going to give my module some bad values that it should fail on and use the expect failures attribute to tell Terraform that these variables should cause a failure. This basically reverses the logic of the test. Here, a failure is good, because I want to make sure those validations are working the way I expect when users enter bad data. So far, everything we've done has been using a plan command for these tests, and that's equivalent to unit testing in traditional application testing. Let's add an integration test too. Now, my module expects the user to supply their own Azure resource group but that means I'll need to set one up for my tests. And here's where the ability to add a module block to a test run comes in handy. Instead of running my website module, this setup resource group run is going to execute this local module that I added. And all this module does is set up a resource group. And then it outputs the name of that resource group that I can use later. Back to my tests here. I've also added an end-to-end -end test, which is going to use an apply command to actually create the resources in my module so that we can do full end-to-end -end integration testing. And for the resource group name input to this test, I'm going to refer to the resource group name I just generated in that setup step. So you can see how runs can be chained together and refer to each other's outputs in this way. And in this run, I'm making some assertions that I can only make at apply time because these are checking calculated attributes that aren't available during a plan. So now that my tests are written, I'll switch over to the CLI here. We need to start with a Terraform init. And then I'll run the Terraform test command. Terraform is going to run through each of my tests in sequence. And I can see that all my tests have passed, and Terraform is automatically tearing down anything it created during that test run. If I come back and change my module in the future, I can simply rerun the Terraform test command to execute the exact same set of tests and make sure I didn't introduce any new errors. This demo really just scratches the surface of what you can do with this testing framework, how it can help you produce more reliable Terraform modules for your team. So to learn more, check out the Terraform documentation and tutorials at developer.hashicorp.com. And thanks for watching.